Hello students, welcome back. In our previous lecture, we have completed chapter number 4, Parts and Holes, part 1. So today we are going to start with part 2. So before starting the chapter, let us revise what we have done so far. Now what is a fraction? A fraction is a part of a whole. A fraction is a part of a whole. So here I have drawn one circle. And the circle is divided into four equal parts. Out of this, one part is shaded. So you can imagine this as a pizza. This pizza has four slices. Out of those four slices, one slice has been taken out. So a fraction has two parts. The first part written at top, it is known as numerator. And the second part written at bottom, it is known as denominator. So students, here in this circle, the shaded part is 1 and the total parts are written at bottom, it is 4. Now let us do examples. What fraction does the colored part show? So here, 1, 2, 3. 3 parts are shaded. So it will be written in numerator. So write 3. And how many total parts are there? 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is written in denominator. Next, how many parts are shaded? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 written in numerator. 7. How many total parts are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Right here, 15. Next, how many parts are shaded? 1. So write in numerator, 1. And how many total parts are there? 1, 2. Right here, 2. So students, I hope this is clear. Now, different types of fractions. Number 1. Like fractions. Number 2. Unlike fractions. Number 3. Unit fractions. Number 4. Proper fractions. Number 5. Improper fractions. Number 6. Big fraction. Now, like fractions. Like fractions are those where denominators are same. Example, 2 upon 9. 4 upon 9, 5 upon 9 and 7 upon 9. So here you can see 9 as the denominator. It is same and they are known as like fractions. Next, unlike fractions. Fractions with different denominators are called unlike fractions. Example, 1 upon 3, 3 upon 5, 4 upon 8, 6 upon 11. Here we have different denominators and they are called unlike fractions. Next, unit fractions. Fractions with numerator 1 are called unit fractions. Example, 1 upon 2, 1 upon 3, 1 upon 8, 1 upon 12. So here numerator is 1 and they are called unit fractions. Next, Proper fractions. A fraction whose numerator is less than its denominator, it is called proper fraction. Example, 3 upon 4. Here numerator 3 is less than denominator 4. Numerator 5 is less than denominator 7. Here 6 upon 11 and 14 upon 9. Next, Improper fractions. A fraction whose numerator is greater than or equal to denominator. Example, 8 upon 7. Here numerator is greater than denominator 7. Here numerator 11 is greater than denominator 5. 13 upon 7, 9 upon 2 and 7 upon 7. Next. Mixed fractions. When an improper fraction is written as a combination of a whole number 
and a proper fraction it is called mixed fraction example 1 whole 2 upon 7 here 1 is whole number and 2 upon 7 is proper fraction 1 whole 3 upon 5 2 whole 3 upon 4 and 4 whole 5 upon 7 so students, I hope different types of fractions are clear. So now let us do question. Convert each of the following into a mixed number. So A part 11 upon 4. So divide 11 by 4. 4 ones are 4. 4 twos are 8. So the remainder is 3. So here... Question 2 will be our whole. This will be whole. And remainder 3 will be numerator. This will come in numerator. And this 4 will be in denominator. So the answer is 4 in denominator, 3 in numerator and 2 as a whole. Next, 17 by 8. So divide here. 17 by 8. 8 to the 16 and remainder is 1. So right now I told you this 2 will be our whole. Remainder will be in numerator and this will be denominator. So students keep one thing in your mind that denominator will always be same. Now C part 23 by 6. Divide 23 by 6. 6 3 is a 18. So 23 subtract 18 it will be 5. So right here, 5. So students, we know that this will be our whole 5 remainder. It will be our numerator and the 6 will be in denominator. So students, I hope now you can convert these fractions into mixed number. So next question. Convert each of the following into an improper fractions. A part 3 whole 3 upon 5. So here the denominator is 5. So draw a big line and write here 5. So now multiply denominator by whole. Write here 5 into 3. Then add by numerator. Numerator is 3. 5 3 is a 15. Right here 15 plus 3 by 5. 15 plus 3 18. So the answer is 18 by 5. So let us check 5 3 is a 15 plus 3 18. 18 by 5. Now B part 2 whole 5 upon 7. So the denominator is 7. Draw a big line and write here 7. Then 7 to the multiply plus the numerator is 5. Right here 5. 7 to the 14. Right here 14 plus 5 by 7. 14 plus 5, 19. So the answer is 19 by 7. C part, 6 whole, 2 upon 3. So denominator is 3. Draw a big line and write here 3. 3, 6 are 18. 3 into 6 plus numerator is 2. 3, 6 are 18. Write here 18 plus 2 by 3. 18 plus 2, 20. Write here 20 by 3. 
So students, I hope now you are able to convert the mixed fraction into an improper fraction. Next topic, equivalent fractions. Equivalent fractions have same value even though numerator and denominators are different. So we have two methods to find out equivalent fractions. Number one, multiply both numerator and denominator by the same number. Number two, divide both numerator and denominator by the same number. We can either multiply or divide to get the equivalent fraction. Example, 1 upon 4. So 1 upon 4, if I multiply by numerator 2 and denominator 2, I get 2 upon 8. So 2 upon 8 is equivalent fraction of 1 upon 4. So let me give you another example. So if I multiply 3 by 1 upon 4, so I get 3 upon 12. So there are two equivalent fractions of 1 by 4 which I have taken out. 2 by 8 and 3 by 12. Now divide both the numerator and denominator. So here 24 upon 16. I divided 2 by 24 upon 16. So I got 12 upon 8. Students, whenever you are dividing, so it should be divisible by both numerator as well as denominator. So here if I have to find out another equivalent fraction, so what I will do? 24 by 16. I cannot divide this by 3. Why? Because 3 does not Divide by 16. So I will divide it by 4. So 4, 6 are 24 and 4, 4 is 16. So 12 by 18 and 6 by 4. They are equal in fractions of 24 by 16. So I hope students equal in fractions is clear. Now let us find out whether these two fractions are equivalent or not. First part. 1 upon 4 and 3 upon 12. So here 1 upon 4 and 3 upon 12. We have to use cross multiplication method. Multiply first numerator with second denominator. And here first numerator with second denominator. So 1 12 is 12. 4 3 is 12. Both are equal. So we will say that it is an equivalent fraction. Now let's do second part. 1 upon 5 and 2 upon 8. Write here 1 upon 5 and here 2 upon 8. So we will do cross multiplication. 1 8 sir and 5 2 sir. So write here 1 8 sir 8 and 5 2 sir 10. So they both are not equal. So write here not equal. So they are not equivalent fraction. So now let us do another question. Find equivalent fraction of 2 upon 7 with denominator 63. So here fraction is given 2 upon 7 and we have to make denominator 63. So here denominator is smaller and we have to make bigger denominator. So we will multiply. Multiply with what? 7. What sir 63? 7. 9 sir. So we will multiply numerator and denominator by 9. 7 9 sir 63. 2 9 sir 18. So 18 upon 63 is the equivalent fraction of 2 upon 7. Now second part. Find equivalent fraction of 8 upon 14 with denominator 7. So the fraction given here is 8 upon 14. So here denominator we have to make 7. So now we have to make smaller denominator. So we will divide. But divide with what? 14 and 7. 7 ke table mein 14 kab aata hai? 7. 2 sir. So divide numerator and denominator by 2. 
सेवन टू सा फोर्टीन एंड वॉट टू के टेबल में एट कब आता है सो हि फोर फोर टू सा एट सो हि फोर अपॉन सेवन इज द इक्वल इन फ्रैक्शन ऑफ एट अपॉन फोर्टीन सो आई होप स्टूडेंट दीज काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन यू कैन सॉल्व इन योर बुक्स एज वेल students that's all for today's class i hope you all have understood kulin ma'am's class so chapter number 4 part 2 completed so do like share and subscribe my channel take care bye bye